Cappuccino Salame. It's the last JoJo episode. As much as we've been talking about it, I forgot <laughs> it's our last one. Oh, the heck? What is going on? This is so unexpected. Hey guys, I'm Kat. And I'm Sadie. And this is I. Two, Two cents. Here's our last highlights for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Golden Wind, and just JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for now. Hmm. And as always, if you guys want this to be in high quality, or if you want to check out our extended episode reactions, click the I for our Patreon, or the link in the description. I'm not ready for this. Even after it's done, I'm, I'm probably not going to be ready for it still. Like, okay, next one. Right? More Jojo! We've always had Jojo. Right? For like a year. Just about. Just about a year. We've had Jojo stuff. And now, this is it. Or is it? So where we last left off, everyone's back in their own bodies. Mostly. Minus a few. And Gold Experience Requiem is like laying down on the bus. Like the bus has no idea what's going on. Giorno doesn't even know what's going on. So with that, Giorno and Gold Experience Requiem have mastered the arrow. They're now one with the arrow, right? Mm -hmm. It's like part of Gold Experience Requiem. Mm -hmm. So it's looking like he can finally avenge all their fallen comrades and everything they fought for is worth it. Take out the boss, hopefully, and take over the, the group. Right! I kind of forgot that the whole point of all of this, at least Giorno's main goal in all of this, was to take over the Mafia. Like, his dream. His, his dream, yeah. Like, after a while, it just became about, like, taking down this evil crime lord. Like, protecting Trish. Yeah. His goal changed so much throughout the series. But yet, it's still the same. By I, taking down... Yeah, I mean, it down. always went along, but so much, I guess so much was added to mm -hmm. it. So much more, more than just at stake. Yeah. Hopefully now he'll be able to realize his dream. Mm -hmm. I would like to see it end with him as the boss. I want to see him cool like a boss. Isn't that like a cool? boss. <laughs> I really don't know what they're gonna do after they defeat. When they defeat? If they defeat? If they, they live, know, if they they live yeah. They could still defeat him and not live. Exactly. So what is their what what is their what is their end game? What what are they gonna end up doing? I just I would like to see him like creating a cleaner city, right? Cleaning up the streets the way he wanted to. But then, would Trish even want to be part of it at all? Okay, maybe not Trish. Maybe she can have that nice peaceful place that Bruno was talking about, which I don't know how that would happen because Bruno's gone. But maybe somehow they know about it too, or at least some kind of peaceful life. Mm -hmm. She was the one that was like forcibly thrown into this whole gangstar lifestyle so like she can still live in the territory and then they're keeping it clean so she can have a peaceful life hmm. basically i want them to have a happy ending basically yeah we skipped over this episode basically <laughs> so i'm talking about like oh yeah the last episode like, potentially something's gonna happen they'll defeat him so how it ends <laughs> yeah but before any of this happy ever after can happen giorno or gold experience requiem has to defeat diavolo has to and it's looking good at, least at the end of the last episode, he was like mudaing him mm -hmm. a lot, a lot. So it's it's looking good, it's likely. But mm -hmm. we do feel like Diablo is not done quite just yet. That is true. He was very like determined in his "I am king. Yeah. I deserve this power." Like he is the boss for a reason. Yeah. I'll just start back up with the muda or something. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it picks up right after. Right. Yeah. So we'll just have to see if Jordan can defeat the boss. So let's just get on into it. Let's go. Eh? This is me stuff. Oh, this is, mm -hmm. this is a flashback? Before Jordan? No? I guess so. A human flesh, would it taste good or bad? <laughs> Why are you guys doing this? Showing me how they were happy. Oh, goodness. Damn. Oh, no, he said oh, no. Oh, wow, oh, his eye. <laughs> you just want a double dose? Sure. Okay, I can give you some more Muda. Oh, and then it goes backwards. Mm, yeah. Nice. It's a good thing Gold Experience was like, no, I have to defeat this person. Mm, good thing he's on his side. Yeah. Did he? Is this it? Is this the end? Is it? Oh, wait. She still senses him? Seriously? You gotta go chase him again? Escape? Is Are they not gonna defeat him? Is he just gonna defeat, be defeated by this, this condition? He thinks he's escaped. Yeah. Figures. <laughs> Figures he, he would run away. away. Is it a dead end? Oh no! <gasps> what is that? Oh, what is oh, this? <gasps> Something else is killing. 
This is what finishes him? This guy's crazy. Yeah, just these hobos. Yeah. Uh, Druggies. Yeah. The very oh, drugs yeah. that he spread about. He's gonna die like this. Wow, talk about poetic justice. Wow. Damn. I kind of feel bad for him, but at the same time, it's like, no, this is, this is so kind of what he deserves. Guy, yeah. Oh, what? Is oh, did he use his King Crimson? One last thing? Well, I don't know. He looks like he's in a hospital. Is this a morgue? Is he dead? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. he's dead. This is his future. Is it because of his ability or... Is he gonna feel this autopsy? That's what I was thinking, yeah. Like, is it his ability or is it gold experience? That's what I was you? asking, yeah. Is he gonna feel it? He does feel it! Oh my god! He can't even, like, move in pain! Wow, that's pretty brutal. Oh, he didn't she, drink, like, I took guess. it out, right? Mm -hmm. <gasps> now where is he? Oh, is he just going through futures? Is it like when Jordan punched Bruno and he was like sensing things? Right, yeah. <gasps> Are you just gonna be experiencing death over and over again? And then All the his truths that he's never gonna reach? No. Oh, Is he just gonna be it. in this like trance, dying but never really dying? Truth behind his death. Whoa. Oh. So he'll keep dying in different ways. And yeah. Know how he died. Eternally. That's brutal. He's just dying over and over again. And he won't know. Yeah, now he's like paranoid about it. Oh my gosh, oh, this distortion. Oh yeah, they still don't know. You gotta tell him, sure, no. Oh, ah! oh my god, you guys. Oh. Like, don't ruin this this victory right now. And they're showing this. <sighs> they're all listening so intently, though. <laughs> it was like, what are you kidding me? Yeah, they both, they all are. <laughs> Tastes gross. Because they eat meat. He fell into it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> kind of. Uh oh. Oh. So are they gonna eat you? <gasps> and you might actually. Be <laughs> oh. This is the first. This episode. is the yeah. This is before he went to go find him and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Got the order. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. There's a light and everything. Oh my god. And of course it's the fa it's a father. Mm -hmm. It's like I won't promise anything, I'll just look oh. into it. Oh wow, like a bus, right? Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, like what he would have been. Oh. oh. <gasps> Bad the statue, luck. right? Oh yeah, the stone. Don't touch it. I know. The stand? Oh, what the heck? Oh, kill, kill me. me. Kill me. Cause like that went into her and right? she died. Yeah. Don't tell me they never fixed this issue. Are they gonna come back? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <gasps> it's there again. Yeah, it's following him. It's broken. It's breaking more? Oh. Oh. It's like haunting him. Yeah. It's kind of like that Rohan episode, right? Yeah. It's a good thing they listened to it. So is the dad the one who caused her death? <gasps> oh, that's right there! And this is how it ends? This is where it ends? Oh no, don't go onto the roof. Do not go onto the roof. I mean, obviously he lived past this, right? I don't know. Right? I would hope. Or is this like an alternate reality? That's what I was thinking, because wasn't it who? I mean, who was the one that went to take care of that leaky yeah, right? the situation? What oh. is going on? Oh, he just destroys it and it. Bloop. Oh, it's the oh, boyfriend. It's right oh. Or oh, change <gasps> shape into Bruno? It's Bruno. Oh, what the heck? What is going on? This is so unexpected. That took such a. That, that was such a twist. 
Yeah, like I thought I was just gonna show them to be like, look at how happy they were just to like remember them, but we're getting like a whole new story. Right, exactly. And because of the because of where it's placed, like in the series, it's it's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> like, why are you showing me this now? Not like when they're facing off against one of the other minor villains. Right. Not like the start of the second half or something. Yeah. What importance does this occurrence have to present? Like, why is it just Misa, the superstitious one, and why is he being followed by bad luck? Was there four of anything? Four of them before Bruno got there. There was four of them. How does Misa <laughs> survive? <laughs> okay, so what is up with this rock being shaped like Bruno now? This stem. I don't know! <laughs> like, I was also starting to wonder, like, is whatever happened here predicting their deaths or something? But not really, the others aren't really involved. No. I'm hoping there's a meaning behind everything and it'll all make sense by the end of this episode. And then it's a good meaning. Yes. Not like, because of all of this, one of them dies. <gasps> Another one dies. That's what I'm really scared of. Like, uh -huh. the fact that they're pointing out Mista, who is one of the only survivors. Maybe he won't survive. Is something will happen. Freaking me out, yo. Yeah, okay, now that you say that, I'm like, maybe this does come back and the, the floor shoots him or something right at the end. I was prepared to cry this episode and now I'm just confused. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Like, I was thinking the boss would last longer. It'd be more of a fight to take care of him, but then he kind of just... He's taking care of himself, basically. He had already dealt the finishing blow. Yeah. But that was crazy. It was brutal. That's the only word I can think of because he's just dying over and over and over and over again, but not really dying. For eternity. He's like cars. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, like, they're debts that are like hurt his pride too. Like, he's like this stupid debt as a fighter and someone, instead of going out like guns blazing in like glory, he's mm -hmm. dying in these stupid ways by mm -hmm. these common people. Mm -hmm. Done in by a hobo, a junkie that you helped create, or a car. Truck-coon. No, it wasn't a truck. I didn't think it'd be like that, though. No. I thought it'd be more... I guess I thought Giorno would have more of an active role in his death. <laughs> but I guess just one death wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> it's like fitting for him to go out like that. But at the same time, it kind of made me feel bad. Yeah. It's like, that's like... I maybe... Nah. Not like in a, I wouldn't want that for him, but in like a, ooh, that's a, that's, damn, that's bad, yeah. type of way. Especially seeing his reaction to it, and you're like, oh. Yeah. Ooh. Seeing him really suffer is like, I'm like conflicted, like I felt bad, but it was, it felt right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did think it was kind of cute though that Trish and Mista kept going like, did we win? Is it, did we, did we defeat him? Is it mm -hmm. over? Mm -hmm. Like they look like children, like asking, just looking at Jordan with so much hope. Well, yeah, because yeah. their, their leader is gone. Uh -huh. They don't have anyone else to look up to. No. Like they knew it was up to him. Yeah. So. Oh, that, now that you put it like that, that makes me sad. They have lost their mom. Yeah. Our last, last Jojo. Oh my God, guys. Oh, What's with this, like, Jesus cross oh, okay. thorns? I don't know if he's... Is he not bad? I don't know. He seems pretty oblivious to things. But he was acting suspicious, too. He was. Just a sculptor. Does he not know that he has a stand? Uh -oh. He's had it since he was young. Yeah. But it, it affected him, too. It affected Mista. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and he looks like Jesus, with like yeah, the, the thorn and thorn. the two holes in his hand. What is this imagery for? Oh, it's gone! gone. And the soil, like, disappeared into the floor. <laughs> Don't tell me this is gonna be, like, the condition they're gonna find Bruno in. Oh, that's the slave's part. Rolling stones! Oh. oh, it's gonna be up to luck? This is how he's destined. Whoa. Damn. Is he gonna do it? Oh my gosh. Oh. There he's like, oh. twice. Oh, 
So all three times he got it. And he's standing like he's on that He's like on the cross and everything. Oh, there it is. Oh, and it oh. got stuck. Oh my gosh. Wow. So the rock is there. So the, yeah, I guess the rock found its way to Bruno. Oh, of course he left it behind in the car. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh my god, that's how desperate he is. But so there is a way. This is like changing destiny almost. Oh, go back up. Just up there. Oh my god. Oh, he used the stairs. Of course he did. Okay, number one, go, go, Can you go talk find him. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. oh, it's already somewhere else. No! Oh my gosh. Oh, go, go. What's up? Wow. Oh, I just got a snap. Oh, yes. Oh. I don't think that's destroying it, though. I don't no. Think so. Tell him not to touch it. Yes. yes. Oh my <gasps> god. <laughs> it's huge. Oh no. I don't tell him. Oh, oh, oh they shot more. They shot more, yeah. Oh my oh. god. <gasps> oh, I He's just stopping it. Poor Bruno, he's just like, what's going on? Just tell me! <gasps> oh, he, yeah. It's already behind him. Well, he should probably move some above, above him. him. Oh! Oh! oh yes! Wow, nice. Does that work? Oh, oh my god, god wait! Him. Dude, seriously? Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, wow, is he at- he's just falling? He fell, yeah, he went- I guess he went through the zipper. Oh, it's gonna go with- uh, Oh my god, just Oh, it's hold. going back. Oh no! <gasps> Holy crap! I guess that was good luck. Broke it. Broke his fall a bit. Oh, that's Hulu! Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he went back to yeah. get him that, so it was fate. Yeah. But what about Bruno? Went down, but the rock? Oh, it did get destroyed? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. The end result is what matters. He <laughs> pushes it away. But what does this mean? I stop I, thinking. I feel like he's gonna say, like, it's not over. Mm -mm. It's still... Yeah. <gasps> oh! I could have just been Bruno. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! And they didn't even Oh my god, I felt like my blood left my body. <laughs> the, rock? the rock? Oh. Where is she? <gasps> you can't see it? What? what? <gasps> oh! Oh, she went to turtle? What? <laughs> Wait, but he's here! <laughs> Wait, but <laughs> So he lives in the key, and then the turtle is the same. I guess, yeah, the turtle went back. <gasps> no. He's, oh, he, he's like, don't say anything. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think he wants to tell him. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you smelling her because you complained about his smell? Oh. They're like the best of friends. Guess when you've been in each other's bodies and like, get a lot closer. <gasps> oh. Look at how strong he looks! Yeah. Doesn't look like a 15 year old, no! Oh. To live on. Oh. They look like Jonathan! Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? That's it? Oh my god, no! <laughs> oh, the <gasps> rock! Holy shit! It's Bruno! That hasn't Fuck been there this whole time. Sure. No, that was not there this whole time. That's been a rock, like a normal rock. Right. That's been a normal. I think normal it was rock. like lightened up more. Like, hey, look here. But I added. No. That that's been an. I remember thinking like this just rock a, is weird. Uh huh. It's just a a sphere, kind of misshapen sphere. Is this like in the future? Oh, it's just the, <gasps> yeah, the opening. Oh, so see the bus. Oh, his ladybugs. Yeah. yeah. How many, how, how long in the future? Who is that? 
Is that Mista? Maybe. The tail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the zipper. Oh, oh like the, the flowers, flowers right? Oh, oh. Wow, this. Oh, just they're pledging their loyalty. I guess so. He looks good in black. Yeah. Just, kind of, just saying. That was pretty cool. Yeah. That was what I wanted. Something to show he's the boss. He didn't make it to be the boss. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and the two flowers he keeps, like, as a memory. With that first half, with the flashback, I was really hoping, and this is just my denial, you know, coming back to haunt me, but I was really hoping that somehow all this destiny manipulation, not really manipulation, but like destiny, Fighting destiny. Fighting destiny and stuff, they would somehow be able to change it mm -hmm. so that Bruno does in fact live. But no, it's just like, oh, they've known all along that these three would go. I mean, they didn't really know, I guess, the, the sculptor. It was fated. <laughs> yeah, it was fated all along that these three. They changed destiny so that it... they made it worse. That's right, yeah. He discovered the true sculpture of it. I should have known. I should have known to not hold out hope. And yet I did anyway. Oh my god. I got I got chills. I felt like my blood just like dropping. <laughs> just whoosh. Oh. That was one of, I think that was one of the worst shocks in JoJo mm. history for me. Cause it's like Mista who did it. He doesn't know. So pure about it. Yeah, just in protecting. Like he he went to such great extent to try to protect Bruno from this. He nearly killed himself. Nearly killed Hugo too. Yeah, oh poor thing. <laughs> oh my god. And he doomed his friends. Yeah. But then at the same time, I kind of don't like thinking of it like that because that means that Mista caused Naranja and Bakio's death. That's so. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe he didn't. Maybe. It was destiny. Maybe it is the true destiny all along. You just had to sculpt a little more. Like, like had Bruno touched it, the stone would have crumbled and would have revealed all three of them anyway. Maybe something. Just because I don't feel like Misa. <laughs> he shouldn't be blamed for this. Mm -hmm. It's not like he knew. I feel bad thinking like that. So Bruno's initial death. I don't know why I want, why I want to keep talking about this, but but if Bruno's initial death had come true, he would have been like, wait, what? It had a hole in its chest. chest. I was gushing out blood. So that's kind of how he, his body died. Oh, and him too. Who? The first time when he got pushed through with King Crimson. Yeah. Okay. I was like, it wasn't really his chest when Mista shot his yeah. body. Yeah. But yeah, I guess. But I guess with King Crimson. That's what happened. And then Giorno went like against destiny, he was reborn. So yeah, like with all this talk of fate and stuff, Giorno is the one who can actually defy destiny. With gold experience and gold experience requiem denying the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even before all of that with the arrow. Damn. He is the son of Dio. <laughs> But I was happy to see Ponari Solo still with us. Hmm. He's just gonna hang out in the room. The key. I guess, like, as an advisor to Shorno, maybe? Yes. How did he even latch on to the key? He had nowhere else to go, so he was like, okay, I'm gonna just. I guess. I guess I shouldn't question it. It was a good ending for him. I, <laughs> I shouldn't question it. He's still here with us. Yes. So. I do kind of wish we had seen a little bit more of how Giorno, like, took Diavolo's spot as the boss. Hmm. Like, or at least maybe people's reactions to him. You know, being like, hey, I have killed your boss. I am not your boss. What evidence did he have? Or I guess, did he have to provide evidence that he did it? Did, did people, um not believe him, like counteract him or something. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of it. Just, just because I want more Jojo, really. I mean, I'm content with what there was. I'll just have to make make up stories in my head. Right. Maybe, no, I guess there, there isn't a novel for that. I don't know. If there is, let us know. 
いこうか。Okay, wait, so. Yes. Overall, how are you feeling after finishing it? Dude, how do you feel? Empty? Satisfied though. Wait, like I feel hungry but full at the same time. <laughs> hungry but full? <laughs> like I feel like this last, but I'm satisfied with the way it ended. But、yes. I still want that more. Yeah, like. Like, I feel empty because I know it's, this is the end, but the story in total was satisfactory. It was sad, it had my emotions rolling through everything. That I feel like, yes, it was a good story. It was worth watching. Yeah, it was worth this roller coaster of emotions. The, yes, exactly. Yep.、Mm-hmm. So that's how I feel satisfied.、Uh-huh. But then I feel empty because it's like, I've lost so many people, it's over, I don't know what to do. What am I gonna do? Because, like, after every other part, it was like similar feeling, but you knew there was more coming. Yeah.、And、so you get another adventure.、Mm-hmm. And I feel like there is more coming, we just don't know when. Yeah, there's no concrete plan for when. It could be、mm-hmm. like this year, it could be next year, it could be in two years.、Right. Nobody knows. I don't like this feeling of、oh. not knowing when the next installment is. I didn't think going into this reaction series, I would feel this way. I really liked the first two parts when I watched them offline、mm-hmm. and then like re watching them and reacting to them. It was great. But I didn't think like after watching part three, part four, part five, I would feel this connection to JoJo、mm. that I do now. Like more so than just after part one and part two. Yeah. I didn't think I would get. My emotions would get bigger. <laughs> My connection to it would grow so much. So we've come to the end of our JoJo's Bizarre Adventure journey. For now, but we are not done with JoJo's on our channel just yet. We have some ideas in the works. Let us know if you guys have any suggestions for videos or content you'd like for us to do, JoJo related, in the comments down below. And we'll see you guys in the next JoJo video. None of this would be possible without all of your support, and we just want to give a special thanks to Brandon Scott, Deck Demon N13, Luis A. Sandoval, Chris Poveroni, Phoenix Yang, Jargo, Takeshi, Jacob, ASDF617, Poor Yorick, K Drago, Gavin Drake, Conroy, Cocos, Jim Fungbrandt, Rajiv Kumar, Nato, Blueberry Tangerine, Dan, Brian Amika and Joku, Anna Chelly, Mike Edwards, and DJ Cunning. It's thanks to the support of all these wonderful people and all of our patrons on our Patreon that we can keep making videos like this one. Thank you guys. Thank、so、you guys. Much. If you like what you're seeing, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more, you can check out our past videos. Don't forget, you can follow us on our socials, linked in the description. Thanks for watching. Please stay safe, everyone, and we hope to see you next time. Bye! Stone Ocean, you need to move along.